viewers and subscribers welcome back on this platform bvi channel one where truth is the gospel we preach and today's truth will be taking it to the president of nigeria who have requested an honest review of nigerians about the achievement so far he had made since he became president but before i delve into it i want nigerians to listen to their president and we will come right back to have an honest review of the achievements of President Mohamed Bugari. I'll be right back. Well, um, we are doing our efforts uh, to consolidate this system. But most importantly, to make people understand that it is them that matters. Um, that's why we emphasize using the police and the military where necessary. And look the, at the elections in the southeast, especially those in Imo and in a number of states, uh, where the police and the military did very well because they received the orders that people must develop confidence in authority that uh, there are fundamental rights as Nigerians to choose whoever they like to choose across party and ethnicity that will make them feel proud as Nigerians. Nobody should be allowed to raise an army of facts and force himself on any constituency. This is the objective of this government. And uh, we need the understanding of those in charge to make the efforts to pay back in terms of working very hard and becoming self-sufficient in supporting themselves and keeping the peace. If a Nigerian wants to be fair to this administration, they should find out on what we campaigned in 2015 and 2019 the stages we were then, where we are now, and where we hope to head over in 2023. If you want an honest report, try and ask people from the Northeast, especially from Bono State. But our problem is now the Northwest and the North Central. Amazing. Amazing in the sense that in the Northwest, mostly the people are the same culturally and so on. But again, we are having problems. And we hope to hand over a better Nigeria than the one we inherited. I thank you very much for coming. And Your Highness, I respect you and your institutions and the effort you are making to consolidate the relationship of all ethnicity and across religious views in your emirate. I thank you very much. Okay. Wonderful. You have heard it all from Mr. President. With due respect to your age, and not to the office of the president you have been that had brought untold hardship on Nigerian people, that had fed Nigerian people. I want to give you an honest review because those around you will not give you this honest review about the achievement of your governance. Because sometimes, I think yesterday or there about, somebody came to my inbox and was trying to tell me and convince me about the wonderful things this government have done from infrastructure, railway lines, Second Niger Bridge, blah, 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 insecurity, that they are fighting it, and the rest of them. And I gave that person an honest review. Today, the president, while on visit to Kaduna, 
has requested an honest, that one is what I like so much, an honest review, because you can only get it from this platform. Number one, as the voice of the people, the president, Mohamed Bugari, I want to let you know and remind you in case you forgot that the exchange rate between Naira and dollar, you promised us one to one, one dollar to one Naira when you were coming in, had now tripled that now one dollar is now 550 Naira in the parallel market. I want to also honestly review and remind you that the prices of things in Nigeria and the inflation rate had gone up with double quick match. We are no longer talking about the price of petroleum products of which you are planning a parting gift for Nigerians by the so-called Removal of subsidy, which you never believe it existed in the first instance. I want to remind you that Nigerians will embrace your parting gift for the price of fuel climbing up to 300 naira. Let us keep that aside. Now, let me remind anyone that care to listen to this honest review that this government came on the wheels and promised to fight corruption and insecurity. These are the two major campaigns of this government when they were campaigning to become the president in 2015. Today, corruption is now fighting Nigeria. Corruption is now fighting the government of this country instead of the government of the country fighting corruption. Corruption had become an institution in Nigeria. Talking about insecurity, Insecurity in Nigeria, all Nigerians can attest to how safe Nigeria had become. Because I can remember vividly that prior to 2015, before you take over government, that Nigerians were dealing with um, Boko Haram terrorism in the northeast and some parts of northwest and partially north central. But today, Nigerians are now faced with terrorism across board. All the geopolitical region are having a hit of terrorism. We now have from Boko Haram, we have Iswap, we have armed bandits as they baptized it, and other armed sects. They call herdsmen, Fulani herdsmen, which the government acknowledge that they are foreigners that like invaded Nigeria. We now have to deal with kidnappers, hoodlums, and the ones in the southeast we now call unknown gunmen, which the government is accusing agitators that they are the ones. But from the handwriting on the wall, we know, say, this kind thing, where would they see for Southeast? You know, be the kind thing our people fit do. And even if our people fit do them, it started under this government. Because now, good morning, eh? you say good morning, now how are you? They follow them. Okay? So, the government had failed to secure Nigerians. That is the bottom line of the whole thing. That everywhere now have its own fair share of insecurity. Talking about this infrastructure, self, I now want to give it back to the president to give Nigerians an honest response to this. 
and to every one of them that had supported and had, you know, tried to promote the achievements of this government. You have the right to do it. We will appreciate you. To tell us one successful program and project started by this government and finished by this government. One. They started it, they initiated it, and they completed it. I'm just asking about one. So that we'll be able to start appreciating the wonderful things this government have done. This is my honest review. And I hope Nigerians will share it to the point that the president will listen to it and those around him. Because I have no on a But those around him will help him to understand and relate this to him. And from the comment section, you will hear and see more reviews of Nigerian people whom I have spoken on their behalf. If that is not the case, you will still see it on the comment section that I didn't speak on behalf of the Nigerian people who had been the victim of this government. A failed system. Let me talk. I have spoken. I have given my honest review. Now give yours at the comment section. And I want to beg Nigerians. Plead with Nigerians. Do not allow the mistake of 2015 to repeat itself come 2023. Because now from from pan to fire. Where you go be? We could stay safe as much as you can. Don't forget to drop your comments, like, and share, and subscribe if you have not. I'm signing out. Bye-bye.